And, 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 and. Guess who? How'd you know? It's push day. Welcome. We're working the pecs, delts, triceps, little ab work. It's going to get super nasty. If you've been following along, every push day has been progressing with complexity and intensity. Today fits that curve, so get ready to get a little bit nasty. You need two cups. They could be of any style. Ideally, they're not super breakable, so leave those thin glass stemware pieces up in your cupboard. I got some plastic stuff here. Solo cups are great. Uh, if you have coffee cups that are a little more rigid with porcelain or anything plastic, that's going to be perfect. Uh, they don't have to be exactly the same I, either, uh, just as long as they can hold a little bit of water. They don't need a handle. And then you're going to fill one up right away to the very top with water. So two cups, fill one up, set them aside. We will need those eventually. We're also going to use the wall a little bit today, so make sure you bring yourself by a wall that you don't mind touching. Uh, stay away from grandma's wallpaper, no stains. You do need soft floor as well. Uh, we're going to bust out our yoga mats here on the floor in a second. That's going to be for the knees, for the belly, for a little Superman type of postures. Uh, so again, two cups, one of them with water, wall, touchable, and soft floor space for your knees, for your belly to get supported. I'll give you a few moments to get those things ready, and we are off to the races. Today's going to be a saucy one. Prepare yourselves. But that's why you're here, right? To get a little crazy while at home, get a little creative. Once again, we're not letting the limitations get in the way of our progress. It might change the way these workouts look. There are no weights involved, no barbells, no gym. But what remains is the fact that we do things with precision, with care, with a little bit of fun. And of course, we are going to progress ourselves regardless of what's happening. You see Mike over here, say hi. Everybody say hi. He's been uh, graciously vowing for us to get on to the local news, NBC4. Hopefully that's gonna air pretty soon. We might also this weekend get a chance to share with the people on their website uh, a fun little workout. Uh, so I'll be asking in the comments a little bit what you think is the most fun stuff to show at home. I'm thinking a couple of the things with the, uh, the water and the cups, something a little more creative, obviously no gym equipment involved. So let me know in the comments what you think we should be sharing to the, the local people, the national people, perhaps. And uh, you know what it is, right? Not just about fitness, but spreading that message of continuing goodness, whatever that means, whether it's movement, fitness, health. Uh, and like we talked about a couple of days ago, Whatever you do that gives you the feeling of enjoyment and the sense of accomplishment, it's health related. I promise you that. So find those things and do them. They don't just have to be jogging outside or doing push-ups like we're about to do today. Anything that gives you that good feeling, uh, as long as it's not a vice, right? Keep drugs and alcohol to a minimum, kids. Anything you do that gives you the feeling of accomplishment and enjoyment. It is a health provision for yourself. So find a way to do those things, whatever they are. And yeah, okay. more, less? Okay, okay, great. So we're still rolling for news, by the way. Um, let me pretend to demonstrate the first move. Yes, yes. So to open up the packs, we're gonna need to stretch. If you're with that buddy at home, the quarantine buddy, you're going to do the buddy pack resistance stretch where you're holding each other's palm to palm, you're pushing palm to palm to create some pressure from the pack and front shoulder, and then we twist away to stretch the pack. I'm solo today, so I'm going to use the wall. That means I'm facing the wall, I'm reaching my arm out straight, palm to the wall, a little bit higher than the shoulder level, and then we take this outside foot, walk it away, and as I push pressure into the wall, I'm turning, puffing the chest out, to feel the pec stretch. As you know, before workouts, we never hold the stretches. We only move in and out of them to preserve our stretch reflex. So I face the wall to relieve the stretch. I turn away to find the stretch. And we're in here doing reps for about one minute. 
Make sure you achieve the tech stretch feeling. Oh, yeah. Start breathing big, realizing what we're about to do is pretty intense today. This is one of those advanced routines. Uh, feel free to go back to a previous push workout if this one gets a little crazy for you. The prerequisite is at least doing one standard push up. You will be able to go from the knees today, however, if you want something a little bit lighter. Great, we'll switch arms. If you're with that buddy, palm to palm now on the left side. Otherwise, face the wall, palm a little bit higher than shoulder height. The opposite foot comes away, then we twist to get the pec stretch. Turn back to a lean. With pressure from the palm of the wall, we turn by that pec stretch. Turn back, relieve it. Turn, pec stretch. Turn back, relieve it. All the while pushing with some force into the wall. So you're creating a little resistance for yourself against the stretch. Don't just move through this passively, but push a little bit into the wall. We know that's far more effective for stretching, especially during the warm up. We got about 10 more seconds of this before we move on. Awesome. Relax. Very good. We're going to do a bit of the wall tease today. I don't mean teasing you as in not giving you what you are looking for today. We're going to give you exactly what you're looking for, and that's a death challenge. T as in the letter T. Look at my body. Straight, arms up to the sides little bit higher than shoulder height. Down on the baseboard, I got my heels on it, and then I walk one of my own feet away. I take my butt off the wall, so right now it's just shoulders, and now my knuckles will push with pressure as I lift my torso off the wall, and I create that T-hold. Very slowly, we come back. A little kiss with the upper back against the wall, and we push out again. Slowly descend, a little kiss from the back to the wall, we push off again as we work those rear delts, traps, rhomboids, all the good stuff behind us. Keep moving. We'll do a lot of mid here. We're gonna use this quite a bit more during the actual meat of the workout today. So get yourself acquainted with this one. If you need heavier weight, you're gonna walk the feet further away. If you want a lighter challenge, you're gonna walk the feet closer to the wall. You choose where that is today. Maybe you got a lot of sauce, go ahead and walk further away. If you're not quite feeling it just yet, keep your feet close. Find the appropriate challenge for wherever you're at right now. We'll get 30 more seconds of this. Definitely feeling it already. And I see in the comments some of you are feeling the legs and obliques from yesterday. I'm right there with you. I woke up aching this morning. And let's add to it. 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, relax. Shake it out. Next, we'll get into the rotators of the shoulder. As you know, they're very important for support during any push ups. This one's full cuffing from the Nomad Workout app. We're going to tuck the knuckles behind the love handles and roll the elbows forward to get that rear shoulder rotator stretch, infraspine is. Open up, chest out, elbows back, let the fingers slide, and now we open up in the opposite direction, like we're preparing for a baseball pitch. We get that internal rotator stretch, is subscapularis next. Pull in, knuckles to love handles, roll the shoulders forward, get that funky stretch. Up and back, once again, subscapularis. Really roll, move as far as you can in both directions. Palms way back, elbows way forward. Try to pay attention to where you feel this one. It's, it's very strange coordination to perceive a stretch feeling in the subscapularis and infraspinatus. It's something we can only do with repetition and practice. By now you've been doing it quite a bit. You should be able to feel here back side of the shoulder blade, and here, deep inside the armpit, on the front side of the shoulder blade. Continue. About 10 more seconds. Get a couple reps. 
Awesome. Fake rows next. We want big range of motion in the shoulder blades. I'm going to grab the air, pull that bar back, stick my chest out, squeeze the space between the shoulder blades right there. This should mimic the position we have at the very bottom of the push-up today. So memorize this. Tension at the base of the neck. Traps are on, they're rock hard, almost cramping. Now we push away, and what we'll do here that's different from the push-ups is let the shoulder blades roll forward. We will not do that portion during any push-up today. Shoulder blades back, pull, chest out. Reach, roll the shoulder blades forward, stretch those rhomboids. Pull, squeeze, open, reach, pull, chest, Open, reach, pull, puff the chest, open, reach, squeeze and pull, puff the chest up, reach it, and roll, leave another five, open, four, open, three, squeeze, open, two, Open, last one, pull, and let it shake. And Mike, you got what you need? Yeah, good. Nice, cool. So, I will get rid of this mic here. Anyway, uh, I do a little wardrobe change. In the meantime, psych, he's here. I got jokes. We, we just couldn't show it for the, the cameras, right? It's easier to just be alone than to explain it's my roommate. Um, give me a second. I'll get rid of this stuff. He's going to keep you entertained. See you in a bit. Hello. The future, the present, and the past walked into a bar. Things got a little tense. <laughs> uh, what was the football coach yelling at the vending machine for? Give me my quarterback! That was not everyone. Well, this is only half a joke, apparently, so. Oh no, I'm just broken. Why did the calf cross the road? Because it wanted to get to the other side. <laughs> oh. These are ridiculous. All right. What U.S. state has the smallest soft drinks? Mini soda? Mini soda? I like that one. All right, I got a few more. My hunter wraps things up. What's the difference between a poorly dressed man on a bicycle and a nicely dressed man on a tricycle? A tire. <laughs> one of my favorites. One of his absolute favorites. What else we got here? How do snails fight? <laughs> they slug it out. Wow. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, Lord. All right. Why was Cinderella kicked off the soccer team? Because she always ran away from the ball. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. And my last one. Why can't fishermen be generous? Because their business makes them shellfish. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Enough of that. Um, you don't need a buddy, but of course we're here together, enjoying the goodness because we can. Um, so if you got somebody nearby, go ahead and do it. Two cups. I got two cups. We each need two cards, so he's going to get two. I'm going to get two. And right away, we're going to pour one up. And like close to full, but not totally full. Water. Nothing that uh, could spill, ideally. So like, you know. Pretty close, not as close as we've done in the recent past. So we each have one of our cups. 
it is lit. Put that way. Okay. Very good. All right. Uh, we're going to start with some of my recent favorites. The fly style knee push up. Adam hasn't seen this one yet, so we're going to have to go through the explanation fairly uh, precisely. We're setting up a knee push up. Yeah, we're setting up a knee push up. And you know what the knee push up This angle should be planked, we shouldn't be there. So plank the body up. Now, we're going to get the hands super wide, like as wide as they would be in a dumbbell flop. Good. And then the shoulder blades squeeze back, we sink. And we tap the belly to the floor. Good. So I'm going to count through 30 of these together. Let's get to it. If you need a break, go ahead and take it. Uh, otherwise, let's start moving. 30 fly style knee push ups. Begin. 30. 29. 28. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 27, 20, 19, definitely feel it in the packs, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 7. So wherever you're at, you've uh, undoubtedly chosen some soft surface for your knees. So this is the perfect spot for our Superman type of moves and postures. We're gonna do Superman reps to get started. We gotta lift the knees and the elbows at the same time, and then we settle everything back down. So it should look like this. I'm gonna go thumbs up, and we lift both the knees and the elbows, and then we come back down. Also, we have 30 of those repetitions where we start settle, foot contact, hand contact, top position is knees up, elbows up. And here we go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, keep those elbows straight, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, a little lower back, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome. While we're here, we're going to do some of those Ethan Hunt style external shoulder rotators. Uh, so the elbows and the chest are as high as possible. And we have 90 degree elbows. This one, the legs can be back down. Now we're tapping the floor with our fingertips, and then we're lifting the hands as high as possible. So the action that's happening is rotation about the upper arm. It's not as much of a delt raise. It's more of a twisty. Right. We're also going to move through 30 of those. You're going to feel a lot of middle back just from lifting the chest up off the floor. The shoulder movement itself is kind of secondary in the challenge. So let's all lift the chest up, arms up, rotating, tap the floor, and up. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 15, 12, yeah, 11 is the number, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, that's the leg. That's shit. Come on up, back to the knees. 
scapular push-ups from the knees. The elbows stay completely straight. So it's just like the rhomboid rows we do in the gym. And that's where elbows stay straight again. Turn the fingers out. Shoulder blades roll forward. Shoulder blades squeeze back. Shoulder blades roll forward. Shoulder blades squeeze back. So you can imagine making that gap. Squeeze. And then letting it go. Gap squeeze. Letting it go. It's a very small range of motion. Let me show you a couple from the side. And then we'll both get in uh, for 30. Here, I want the knees again to make it light and easy and approachable. Sink in, push the floor away. Sink in, push the floor away. The only thing changing is the positions of my shoulder blades relative to the torso. Sink, push. This stays the same, the elbow stays straight. Sink, push away. Sink, push away. Let's get 30 together. This is the exact movement that we're trying to get out of our push-ups. We don't want to be doing this during the push-ups. However, we need to warm up the muscles that are involved. So keep those elbows locked completely. Yep. Yep. There we go. It's a smaller movement than we than we want it to be. Real time. Here we go for 30. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And don't be frustrated if you can't do this coordination. It's a strange one. Eight. Nine. Specialized. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I've got 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, dip Very nice. Cool. A little double crunch action, nice and slow, and then we'll get into the meat, which, uh, yet again, I'm seeing the sheet and getting a little anxiety about how we're going to handle this, but damn it, we're going to do it. Double the crunch, I'll show you from the side, and then we'll both do it on my back. Bottom position is heels on the ground, 90 degree knees, shoulders on the floor. Top position is elbows to thighs, crunch. Tap, crunch. We're going to do 10, ultra slow. I'll tell us when they go to the top, when they squeeze, when they go to the bottom. Why don't we do like a four count in every direction? So four, three, two, one. Squeeze, three, two, one. And down, three, two, one. That'll be the pace. We ready? Starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Flex. Three, two, one. And unfold. Three, two, one. Tap up. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Three, two, one. And unfold. Three, two, one. Tap again. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Three, two, one. And unfold. Three, two, one. One tap, go. Three, two, one. Squeeze it. Three, two, one. Open it up. Three, two, one. Again. Four, three, two, one. Hits off the ground. Three, two, one. Unfold. Three, two, one. Tap again. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Make a ball. Three, two, one. And open. Three, two, one. Two more. Four. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Open. Three, two, one. Two more. Up. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Open. Three, two, one. Tap again. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Open. Three, two, 
Last one. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Four, three, two, relax. Good. If you can do 10 standard push-ups, I want you doing the standard push-up approach. If you can do under 10 standard push-ups, I want you starting from the knees and we'll progress from there. Uh, Mike also just told me as a part of the story, we want to kind of get some footage of people at home following along with us. So this will be a fun one as we're going to do some funky stuff with the water cups. It looks unique, looks different, having fun at home. Put yourself in the, the horizontal, the landscape orientation, and set your camera up, get some fun shots. Text me afterwards about how to get it over to me. You can send me a DM or a Google Drive, email, whatever works well. But today would be the day for sure. Take some footage of yourself, send it along, we'll get it in as a part of the new story to show that we're connecting, we're sharing experience, we're all having fun together, all right? So I'd, Really appreciate it if you could do some of that today. If not, no worries. If yes, thanks. We'll get ourselves on TV and uh, stick with the purpose, which is being the leaders in progress regardless of lifestyle limitations. Grab those cups. Get yourself the floor. We're going to start with our push up variation today. It's a slow tempo plus an isometric. We're going to see how nasty we can make the timing of it. We're going to start with a 10 count of descending. We're going to do a 10 count hold where we're right above the floor. The torso is like a piece of paper width above the ground, just hovering. And then the hardest part of all will be the 10 count back up. So it's 10 down, 10 hold, 10 back up. You can see right away why we might need to go from the knees. <laughs> uh, it's going to be super nasty. And I can predict right off the bat that all of us doing this are going to have the tendency to get out of it a little bit faster. We'll do the descend fine. We'll do the hold fine. But it's going to be the push where we really have to uh, drill the patience in ourselves. And maybe by the last rep, we won't have to be patient at all because all of our strength being applied will be producing that slow climb since we'll be so toast at that point. Ah. I'll show you one, and then we'll get into it for the first set would be four reps. So we just try four. Ideally, it'll get longer. We'll see how we react. Uh, but let me show you one of those reps right off the bat. Regular push-up position. That means the hands are wider than the shoulders. Not a ton. Not anywhere near those fly style. The fingers are turned out slightly. Shoulder blades are squeezed back, and that stays. Elbows flare out to the side, a little bit back. Find your body. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hovering here. Nine, eight, seven. I'm already shaking. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Look at that shake. Four. Three, two, one. And that's a rep. Can we handle four? <laughs> At any moment, just like in the gym, we can drop the weight on the bar. Today, maybe you get one rep of standard and you start failing. Go to the knees. It's more important that we get the time under tension, that we get the form right, than it is to do everything in the standard form. So you might see one of us or both of us go to the knees eventually. Uh, and that's totally fine. Totally fine. If from the knees it's still too heavy, then you're going to go up to an elevated surface, like a chair, like a kitchen counter, like a table, and do it on that elevated surface. All right? What counts is the slow tempo with that isometric built in and proper form and control the whole time. Let's give four reps a try. Here we go. Starting at five, four, three, two, go. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hover. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And lift. Nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hover. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And lift. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Wow. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hover. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here goes the last rep. And go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, hover, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one second, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We got slow-ups hard. Woo! Let me say bye to Mike. Bye, Mike. And we're off the race. Sure. Oh, that sucks, by the way. Alright, send Mike some love. Super helpful for us to get on the news like that. Two cups. I got two cups. Is that a comment, Jesse? Oh, <laughs> what is he doing? Oh no, baby. Oh hell no. Check it out. We have Ethan Hunt. Superman. I want our arms to be as far out as possible. So. Put the cups where it's just in reach to grab them. And we're going to get the elbows off the floor, of course. I don't care about the knees getting off the floor. The lower body can stay. But we got to develop a middle back and develop the delts. Here's what we're doing. You're going to use one and pour it in the other. And you're going to try and do so with minimal spillage. That's going to require some control. Elbows off the floor. We're going to start by transferring 10 times. We'll do it slowly. We'll do it carefully. We'll do it together. Pick it up. Lift the chest. Lift the elbows. Transfer once. Good. No spills. Nice work. Transfer two. Transfer three. Don't rush. Transfer four. Transfer five. Keep those arms straight. Transfer six. Oh. Seven. Eight. Starting to shake. <laughs> Nine. Elbows off the floor. Last one. Don't rush. Oh, I dropped the cups. That's beautiful. Very nice. Oh. Did you spill? Maybe. We're looking pretty good here. I, I see. Know. I had a little splish of splash. But... I see. Uh... No water there on the floor. Very impressive. We'll see how that changes as time goes. Now we're on the wall in the T hole, the T's. What a T's. One of our own feet away. And this is going to be an isometric today. It's going to be a hole. It's tough to do reps in the T, so we're doing a hole. Uh, we have one minute, knuckles on the wall, a little elbow bend. And now in three, two, one, we lift up. We have a little bit of the body weight back. And we have the backs of the hands on the wall, those knuckles. So we feel mostly the lateral delt head, the middle delt, the shoulder. 
And we're chilling here for a minute. And if it's not heavy, you'll take a mini step away from the wall. And if it's too heavy, you'll take a mini step towards the wall. You know how this wall stuff goes. We've been doing it. Adam's been getting a repeated taste of these wall. I just glass walls. <laughs> Fuck a wall. Any amount of lift is great. So if, you're, if your legs are right next to the wall, that's fine. If your heels are right off it, that's all good. Build those delts. Go on, relax, 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 relax. Of course, with that, we need to do the same postural stuff as the push ups. So here and there, just like we're here. And there. <laughs> Nassim spilled all of the water. <laughs> nice. Congratulations. That's what we're going for, right? Have some damn fun. I'll take a set. Here we go, round two. Now you understand the gravitas of this program after a round of it. Maybe you go from the knees. I'm thinking there's no way I can handle four reps over and over again like that at that tempo from the standard push-up. So I'm eventually going to have to surrender, move to the knees, or even move to the table, higher surface. Same work. Maybe we'll do more cup transfers. But uh, why don't we just wait and see about that. We're going to start with the four reps. 10 count down, 10 count hover, 10 count up. And a little brief pause at the top before we go to the next rep. Let's begin. Turn the fingers out, set up whatever your starting position is, sink the shoulder blades back, and let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hover, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and smooth, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hardest part is the way up. And go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Begin. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We'll do one more. We're gonna find a, we're gonna create a solution to get a little bit lighter. And go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hover. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, 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 table, relax. Seven. Good. So we'll be able to show you the elevated surface. That will be the next modification um, to make the weight variable however we want it to be. Oh, this is good. This means it's fucking tough. Yeah. That's, that's, really, that's a really good thing. Mm. Um, let's pour that water. Ethan Hunt style. What about Christopher Reeves? <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, Superman. Oh, yes. I didn't know where we're going with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. So, you're in Mission Impossible. You've dropped down in the secure clean room. You can't spill a drop, but the alarm system goes off. And we all get caught. Ready? Uh -huh. 12 transfers. Lift up and go. One, two, three, four. Elbows off the ground. Five, don't spill. Six, halfway through. Seven. 
eight, all, nine, ten, two more, eleven, last one is twelve, and drop. Beautiful. May it do work. And middle back. I'm keeping the chest up. One minute on the T. Half step away, or a full step, or whatever. Maybe one and a half. And three, two, game on. Very similar muscle set as what was worked during that cup transfer. So we're going to feel it doubly right now. Back, putting some of that body weight into the wall. Make sure we feel it. It's hard not to feel it, even if you're a half inch off the wall. This one's nasty. Putting us in a tough position. Help! Help me, Tom Cruise. Get the fire off me. Hey, relax. That's the longest minute of my life. Okay, how can we make this slightly lighter? A couple mods here in the gym. Our most readily available surface will be the butt of this chair. This one across the side. And we can do this in a couple ways. It, you know, it falls variably on the gradient of push-up weight. We can be standing on the surface. We can be kneeling up close. I'll show you on the side. Still, the hip line is planked. So we'll get rid of this and opt for the flat spine. Ten here. Saw the chair uh, slid a little bit. That's just the reality of the setup. We'll have to control it best we can. Don't push forward, but push down. Uh, whatever you want to do. And I'll move the chair out of the way to hit the uh, cup transfers again. Or we can just... Easy. Perfect. So, a couple of variations. Being visible right now. Pick yours. And that should change through the set. It can change through the set. Maybe you're getting more confidence, so you go to the harder ones. Uh, whatever floats your boat. Starting in five, four, three, two, begin. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hover. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a breath. Uh, slide this chair a little further away. Yeah, that'll work. And go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and push. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Number three, go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hover. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more round. Begin. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Force you can push. 
uh, those weird holds and isometrics and the combination thereof. It's all about like the number of gears on your bike. Very, very tricky stuff. Super tricky stuff. Let's go and transfer those cups. 12 was good. 14 sounds like the right middle. Around three. And elbows up. Transfer one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Paw. Oh, seven. Halfway. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Ah, twelve. Whoa, two more. Thirteen. And fourteen. And relax. Delts. Glory. On the wall, for the tee. Stand as far or as close as you want. Starting a minute in three, two, begin. <clears throat> Another one's not at all about the weight. It's about that hold time under tension. So be wherever you need to be with the feet to sustain it for the minute. <sighs> Just holding the arms up like this is the work we're looking for. So that can be enough. Diligently develop the delts. You drastic diabolical delts. <laughs> I'm walking close to the ball. I've been overloaded. I surrender. Hang on with me. Eight seconds. Relax. That sucks. Wow. I don't like that. That's terrible. The bite sucker would be as bad, but these cups. I feel the same way about that as that new Carol Baskins. <laughs> <laughs> that damn Carol Baskins. <sighs> Grab a sip. We're working. Now we have a. Uh, Puddles. We both have puddles now with the Ethan Hunt water transfer. Oh, brother. Oh. You hear my counting of tens increase in speed aggressively with each rep. I don't mind. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> oh. Okay. Round four. With a nice, fast counting speed. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Pick a variation. It's starting in five, four, three, two, begin. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a moment. And go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Four. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, and up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last time, and go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Monsters. It's starting to get nasty. Good luck, we only have one round left. The fifth round will be the end of these, and no more will be super heavy like that for the workout. 
Very nice work. So wrap your head around that. Just one more. If you got any left in the pack, so we can use it there. Let's work those cups. Even on stop. Mission Impossible 1. Big rings. What's the number? 16. 16 it is. You heard the man. He the boss. I don't know why. <laughs> Whoa, fuck. <laughs> Starting in three, two, lift and four. 16, four. 15, four. 14, four. 13, four. 12, four. 11, four. 10, four. 9, four. 8, four. <clears throat> Half one. 7, four. Stay up. 6, four. 5, four. Four. <laughs> 4, 4, 3, 4, 2 more, 2, 4, last one more. The water started feeling heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. That might be two pounds, one and a half pounds. But damn. Feel it. Let's head to the wall for the second to last time on the tee. Such a tease. I'm going just a half step away this time because that's all I can handle right now. And one minute begins in three, two, Reach. Let's hit it. Knuckles only. Chest out, shoulder blades back. Same postural stuff as the push-ups. Make sure the arms are a little bit higher than the shoulders you see. Adam's doing a perfect job of keeping that alignment. We're not down in the A range. We're up here in the T, slightly into the Y. It's going to help us hit the right stuff, those delts. Oh, uh, 12 seconds. Hang in there. I'm going to take a half step away, overload it for the last time. Ah. One last sit before final round five. Very nice. Chef is glad he went with the plastic cups because totally. there's water everywhere. What? <laughs> Heck yeah, brother. Dripping. Way to say you should push yourself. We all know there's more science behind that. Uh, 
Let's get it right now. Now's the time to fail. Set up. Three, two, begin. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two more. And go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one today. And begin. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And smooth. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Very good. Twenty. He said, "Fuck, I did it." 24s. <laughs> no spill. I have a feeling there's going to be much spill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there will be much spill, my brother. Great and difficult. Much spill. Many cool. Wow. Wet. <laughs> and up. Four. 20. Four. Nineteen. Four. Eighteen. Four. Seventeen. Four. Sixteen. Four. Fifteen. Four. Fourteen. Four. Thirteen. Four. Twelve. Four. Eleven. Four. Ten. Reach. Four. Pull. Eight. Pull. That was seven. Pull. That was six. Five more. Pull. Four. Sorry. Four. Four. That was four. Four. That's three. Two more. Four. Two. Last one. Four. And one. Much fun. Much fun over here. I can't really hit my thumb. Yeah. You can fall out with It's a good thing. Uh, hit the wall, final minute of hold for the delts. There's one finishing move after this and one finishing move alone. So let's get through this, don't even worry about it. Starting in five, four, three, two. Give me a T. You can see now the results. The spillage. We wet the pants. Wet the pants. <laughs> We're going to break it down now for the last one. Take it to floor level. Below the canopy. Here 
here we are. How's that? Nice. A little uneven, but fuck it. We're in the fly style knee push up. The thing we did 30 of to start. We're going to bend the elbows as deep as you want. We're holding it for one minute and the workout's over. One minute hold with bent elbows and the fly style knee push up. The one you've grown to love over the past several weeks. Something I had never done before, but I'm into it now. The degree of level bend is up to you. Of course, the deeper, the more difficult. And try to maintain that. The thing you'll have to think explicitly in your head is not pushing around, but shoulder blades back. That retracted squeeze is the primary thought process that will have to prove you this one. Are we ready? One minute, and then it's over. No more tricks. Starting in five. Four, three, two, and it's on. That knee style, and then, and I cannot see the watch, I fucked that up. So who knows, maybe actually I'll use a skill from a previous workout, move it with my nose. And I still can't really see it, 45 seconds left. Keep the hips off the ground. Hover the chest. What you should think the most is shoulder blades squeeze back. Oh god. <laughs> and if you start to fail, come out of it and get closer to straight arms. We got 25 seconds. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Three. This is the finish of a damn intense workout. So if you're failing now, it's all good. You earned that failure. You earned that fatigue. Look at this. Look what Adam's going through. He built that shit. And he's going to get gains as a result of it. So embrace the fail. That's it. Relax. Embrace the failure we all went through with that. I failed on every single move. I did too. The push-ups, that was all I could do. The wall tees, I had to walk closer to the wall. I failed. The cups, I was spilling. I couldn't control it. That's it. That's what we came here for. Investigate the boundary. Give it a little test. Push a little further. And we win as a result. Mentally, physically. How you feel? Worked. <laughs> Did you have any idea that's what we were talking about when I said this morning, how are your push-ups? No. Nope. <laughs> Good shit, man. Awesome work. Excellent. Thanks, everybody. I'm not going to be able to do this tomorrow. Like I said, uh, I want you sharing all these workouts with your friends. Maybe this isn't the one to share. <laughs> leave it for, leave it for the killers. All right. This is my first push. It was. That's right. We've been doing pull. We did a leg day. We did a leg day. We did a hit day. Hits. And a couple buddy pulls. Push was pushy. Very pushy. Uh, Nassim says. The failures are getting more advanced, and, and that's it. We're not going to stop failing. When people say, oh, just keep working out, it'll get easier over time. The fuck? Are you not utilizing progressive overload, my friends? It should be hard, and it should stay hard. And what defines hard in absolute terms is what's going to progress over time. So as we can handle more, we pour more in. You get stronger at deadlifts, you put more on the bar. Simple. Now, Seam, you're getting better at standard push-ups. You're going to do more standard push-ups than ever before. And phase out the knee versions. That's all I got. Anything? Oh, send me your footage, and we'll send it over to Mike, and he's going to get you on NBC4 News. Pretty cool. I can dig it. I can dig it. Spreading the good word. Uh, everybody thanks to Adam for his jokes today. They're horrible. Impeccable. Impeccable. Yes, thank you, Jeff. Send that footage along. We appreciate it. Um, anybody watching this, 
I believe the story may roll tomorrow night. So hit me up ASAP with that footage. I may pull some old Instagram stories. When I say old, I mean from the past month and a half, past 45 days to be exact. Uh, but please send me some new stuff. If you have to uh, recreate what we just did to film it, it is what it is. If you're watching this later today too, and what's today? Wednesday the 29th. If you're watching this on Wednesday the 29th of April 2020, um, send me stuff all day today and we'll be able to get it over to Mike. We'll be able to throw it in real quick. Thank you. You're welcome to your pecs. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. We're going to do it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.